Hello again, my fellow pilots and aircraft maintenance personnel. Your host is always Haysam Ali and I'm an aviation technical instructor. Welcome to my aviation nuggets for today. Today I'm going to take you in these short minutes to discuss the Airbus A320 brake system. Airbus A320 brake system. Okay, so from this schematic you can get that we have normal brake and alternate brake normal brake and alternate brake okay normal brake may be automatic from auto brake panel or may be manual from the brake pedal okay again normal brake which is supplied by the green hydraulic system may be automatic from the auto brake panel or may be manual from the brake pedals okay <coughs> alternate brake alternate brake powered by the yellow hydraulic system and backed up by the brake accumulator is only manual from the brake pedal is only manual from the brake pedal okay whatever it is a manual braking normally or alternate braking the brace on the pedal transfer into an electrical signal by the normal brake pedal transmitter unit or alternate brake pedal transmitter unit and then send to the brake computer which is the bscu or alternate brake control unit and i need to tell you that the Airbus A320 Enhanced or NEO is the only aircraft that do have alternate brake control unit. In the classic A320, there was no alternate brake control unit. Alternate brake control unit. Okay. So, we have wheel number one, two, three, and four. And each wheel has a carbon multi-disc brake. Each carbon multi-disc brake consists of a set of rotor and stator and the pressure plate and some piston may be supplied by the green system and other piston supplied by the yellow system may apply normal or alternate brake. Normal or alternate brake. Okay. So we have for brake green supply, yellow supply, also a brake accumulator for an ultimate emergency braking in case of loss of pressure from the green and yellow system as a dual hydraulic loss at the same time at the same time okay so how many modes of braking do we have in the airbus a320 family we have normal brake alternate brake barking brake and in flight brake which is maybe an auto brake in flight brake it is a programmed auto brake to stop the wheel from spinning when the landing gear is retracted into the main and nose landing gear wheel well okay again normal brake alternate brake barking brake in flight brake which it is a programmed auto brake and finally, we can say ultimate emergency braking from the brake accumulator, which give us seven full brake pedal in case of loss of pressure from the green and yellow system at the same time. Green and yellow system at the same time. Okay, everybody. What about this indicator? It is called treble indicator, treble pressure indicator. And I need to tell you that this is specifically a yellow treble pressure indicator. When you brake with the yellow system or the brake accumulator, you will have indication here. So this is a yellow treble pressure indicator. Yellow treble pressure indicator. You can monitor here alternate brake with anti-skid. Alternate brake without anti-skid. Barking brake, also you can monitor it here because the barking brake supplied by the yellow system from the system itself or from the brake accumulator. Brake accumulator. 
What about the triple pressure indicator? It do have three indications. The upper indication is the status of the uh, brake accumulator. This accumulator, brake accumulator. It is pressurized or not. And if it is not pressurized, you can pressurize it by pressurizing the yellow hydraulic system. Yellow hydraulic system. And you need to take care that before aircraft move, you need to assure that this accumulator is pressurized and is ready to give you any emergency braking needing needed. Okay. So what about this indication and this indication, the second and the third indication? It is the pressure delivered to the brake unit on the left leg and to the brake unit on the right leg from the yellow hydraulic system, yellow hydraulic system. So you can monitor here, alternate brake with anti-skid, alternate brake without anti-skid, or barking brake also, because barking brake is supplied by the yellow system. Barking brake is supplied by, barking brake is supplied by yellow system, so you can monitor barking brake also on the treble pressure indicator on the treble pressure indicator. I need to tell you that this session, before we commence, I need to tell you that this session is a performance support tool. You cannot use this session for formal training. My intention is to increase the performance of my fellow pilots and the fellow aircraft maintenance people, but for formal training, always consult your formal manual for flight and for aircraft maintenance, Always consult your formal manual. Always consult your formal manual. Okay, everybody. Let's continue here. The pedals. Pedals is one of the input for braking because we may use pedal for braking or we may use the auto brake panel or we may use the barking brake handle barking brake handle inputs for braking again from the pedal from the auto brake panel or from the barking brake barking brake what about the pedals pedals give mechanical input to the normal brake pedal transmitter unit and to the alternate pedal transmitter unit for manual normal braking and alternate braking okay so you may use the pedal for normal brake and for alternate brake and the mechanical input on the pedal always transfer into electrical signal. So we have braking by wire philosophy also on the braking system. Like we said always for the Airbus family, fly by wire, engine control by wire, and barking brake, sorry, and the braking unit also by wire. Because also the input here, mechanical input here, transfer into electrical signal and transmit it into the BSCU for normal braking or the ABCU for alternate braking thanks to the brake pedal transmitter unit. Brake pedal transmitter unit which transfer mechanical input into electrical signal supplied to the brake computer. To the brake computer. This is for the pedals, for the pedals, okay. Pedals, the pedals give mechanical input to the brake pedal transmitter unit for manual normal braking. This is for the classic A320, classic A320. The last or the previous uh, slide was for the enhanced A320s that do have braking steering control unit and the alternate brake control unit. But for this one, everybody, this is the classic A320 that we do have pedal, give mechanical input to the brake pedal transmitter unit for manual normal brake and to the auxiliary low pressure control system for alternate brake. In the classic A320, for alternate brake, there is no alternate brake control unit. Sorry, alternate, uh, yes, there is no alternate brake control unit and there was no alternate brake pedal transmitter unit we used to have on the classic A320 what it called auxiliary low pressure control system which do have alternate braking controlled hydraulically only so the alternate brake in the classic A320 was hydraulic control 
not electrical control there was no alternate brake control unit in the classic a320 okay very good my fellow pilots okay and this is the schematic was for the classic a320 the other schematic was for the enhanced a320 or neo a320 but this one was for the classic a320 and for this schematic we clearly identify that we only used to have electrical transmitter for normal braking for alternate braking there was no alternate brake pedal transmitter units the mechanical input here on the pedal for alternate braking was going to the auxiliary low pressure control system it was a hydraulic control not electrical control and the hydraulic from the auxiliary low pressure control system was controlling left hand and right hand dual valve to supply alternate brake to the wheel this is the difference between classic and the enhanced a320 again the classic a320 was having what it called auxiliary low pressure control system that in case of alternate brake the mechanical input on the pedal was transferring into hydraulic signal not electrical signal hydraulic signal and the hydraulic control was opening the left hand and right hand they will valve they will valve and the alternate brake in the classic s320 was not an electrical braking system an electrical braking system okay very good but also on the classic a320 we used to have braking steering control unit braking steering control unit which is the main computer for braking and steering and we have the auto brake computation and anti-skid computation done inside the braking steering control in, uh, unit done inside the braking steering control unit and I need to tell you that for auto brake computation we must have anti-skid computation again for auto brake computation we must have anti-skid computation okay so for anti-skid computation what is the three main component of anti-skid computation what is the three main component to provide anti-skid computation the tachometer on the wheel to provide the bscu with the wheel speed or wheel rpm the servo valve and the braking steering control unit again the tachometer if you ever been asked what is the three main component of the anti-skid system what is the three main component of the anti-skid system you can clearly identify that the three main component of the anti-skid system is the tachometer on the wheel servo valve which it is an electro hydraulic valve and the braking steering control unit bscu must be supplied by aircraft speed in order to always compare the aircraft speed related to each wheel speed and the anti-skid computation done independently for each wheel so at any time if the anti-skid detected the computer will close the hydraulic reaching the brake unit preventing the wheel from skidding and allow the wheel to rotate again allow the wheel to rotate again okay what is the function of this automatic selector valve between the green supply and yellow supply? This automatic selector valve gives preferential supply to the green hydraulic system over the yellow hydraulic system. Whenever the green pressure is available by this automatic selector valve, a preferential supply to the green or normal braking over the alternate braking over the alternate braking this automatic selector valve is no more exist in the enhanced or neo aircraft because in the enhanced a320 or neo we used to have braking steering control unit and the alternate brake control unit alternate brake control unit okay so let's continue 
What about this anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch? Anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch. Actually, this switch is the power supply, providing power supply to the BSCU. So whenever you put this switch to off, anti-skid and nose wheel steering switch to off, you cut off power supply to the BSCU. As there is no BSCU, there will be no anti-skid nose wheel steering auto brake and normal brake when you put this switch to off there will be a transfer from normal braking to alternate braking if you ever been put this switch to off you take the aircraft from normal braking to alternate braking as this switch is the power supply to the bscu if there is no bscu no auto brake no anti-skid, no normal brake, no nose wheel steering. BSU is a steering computer. If you put this switch to off, there will be no power supply to the BSU, and also there will be no uh, steering system. Steering system. Auto brake panel pilot shows the desired deceleration rate from the auto brake panel low medium or maximum deceleration can be selected from here again for auto brake pilot can select the desired deceleration rate according to the length of the runway and the weather condition probably before landing pilot can choose low or medium deceleration and keep in mind that maximum deceleration possibly always been chosen only during takeoff in case of a ported takeoff in case of a ported takeoff okay so again normal break by the green alternate break by the yellow backing up the alternate break there is a brake accumulator which will give you seven full brake pedal this is the treble pressure indicator treble pressure indicator having an upper indication of the accumulator pressure and lower indication is the brake pressure delivered to the brake on the left leg and on the right leg left leg on or also the right leg right leg and keep in mind that this is the yellow treble pressure indicator you cannot monitor any normal or green pressure here on the yellow treble pressure indicator it's only for yellow system you can monitor here alternate break with anti-skid alternate break without anti-skid and the barking break also can be monitored here okay what about the transfer from normal to alternate we may have alternate brake with anti-skid and alternate brake without anti-skid. If the reason from transfer from normal to alternate only due to, for example, green low pressure, so the VSCU is still available, so we can have alternate brake with anti-skid as the BSCU is still available. But if the BSCU failing and we transfer from green to yellow alternate braking with no BSCU, so we will have alternate brake without anti-skid. Alternate brake without anti-skid because the anti-skid computation exists only inside the BSCU. Exists only inside the BSCU. Again, the accumulator give you seven full brake pedal and if you been need to use the accumulator in case of green and yellow system low pressure you will only have ultimate emergency braking and we will have ultimate emergency braking with the accumulator seven full brake pedal without anti-skid even if the bsccu is good thank you always for your good listening my fellow pilots and my fellow aircraft maintenance people your host is always Haysam Ali. Please stay tuned for an upcoming sessions like this. And if you ever like this session, you will find the many and the many on my YouTube channel, Aviation Nuggets by Haysam Ali. Again, 
This session is intended for performance support tool. Don't use for flights or for real maintenance. Thank you. Have a good day and bye-bye.